you are going to boil this one now drop this in a boiling water I mean for five minutes this one is out. All right so let me see if it's boiling already it's not yet boiling so we'll come back now <laughs> Meanwhile, I want to show you our, these are all the cabbage, you them the cabbage. These are, these are all the cabbage you got from Mr. Zyke. So we're going to make, what we're going to make, Courtney? Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. So we have plenty. Let's show them the, you are the camera woman now. So I don't know how many jars we're going to make out of this. I don't know Do you either. have any idea? No. Eric will have all the sauerkraut. Okay, so... While waiting for the water to boil, I will mix all the ingredients, one medium size of onion, one small piece of carrots chopped, finely chopped, and one tablespoon garlic. Or maybe you can add two, since Courtney loves garlic. And add some of the ground pepper. And of course, the very important ingredients. I have at least four pounds of venison meat. Just put them all together. There you go. There's Aaron. Say hi. Hi. Aaron brought this beautiful meat here. Show me the meat. <laughs> so that's Aaron. He's very good in hunting. He's a very hard working boy. No, he's not a boy. <laughs> That's Uncle Eric and Aaron. Say hello, guys. Hello. You will be, you will be, uh, you will be seen all over the world. So what you do, you mix them all together. It's very easy, right? Yeah, very easy. Very easy. You mix them all together. Use your hand. Mix, mix, mix. Aaron was not in. Look, Erin. She's already made venison noodles. Yes, those are. And all then venison. what's this one for? That's for our egg rolls. For our egg rolls, and then over here is our fried rice. Yes. And we'll check the boiling water. The water is not <coughs> boiling. Yeah, you do that also, chef. And then. Oh, Erin is a boy. <laughs> what did she say you was? She said he's a girl. <laughs> no, I didn't I'm say sorry. That. She just said he's not really a boy. He's, he's a grown a up, he's grown, a grown up, up man. man. Yeah, not a. But he's still like a boy. We normally consider boy, your nieces and nephews. Yeah. We name it like bata. Bata in Philippines means young. Young, Mary. Young, young. Oh, young. Yeah. <laughs> Young. Bata means young. That's why Eric knew that word, young. Okay, this is this is the bison meat. No, you know that's what? not bison, it's oh, venison. Sorry. I'm sorry, it's a venison. I forgot. But you know what? The taste of venison and bison is almost the same. Same. Right? Did you taste it? Yeah, it's about yeah, the same. Yeah, we did try it. Look at Eric's face. Like he disagreed. He did he didn't agree? No, he was like Oh. The boy that's a man agreed that bison and venison don't they don't taste quite the same. Okay, wait until you taste this, okay? You're gonna you're gonna be judged. Because earlier we tasted it and Courtney agreed with me, like wow. Well it must be the flavoring though that helped it. I don't know but I did not put fancy seasoning. Mm mm. It just Mrs. K's recipe. All right, you really have to mix it. You do not have to be like, there you go. And of course, I will need the help of my beautiful sister-in-law Courtney to chop this green onions. Finally, maybe you can. <laughs> well, maybe one of these guys can come over here and run okay. this camera. Chop, chop this really finely. Give that to, give that to Here, Courtney. Aaron. Okay, so this is how it look. There's the knife. 
How do you work this thing? <laughs> Why did you take video yourself? Okay, I put add, I add sesame oil. Normally, uh, Venice and Mint don't have that much oil, oil, so you can add olive oil. This is olive oil. This is not the typical, uh, like, normal recipe that you saw in video or Pinterest because uh, total preparation of this, including cooking, is 15 to 20 minutes. This will be done uh, 15 minutes. You can cook it for 15 minutes. You, you, you don't need to bake it for one hour and a half. All right, that's beautiful. Now, this green onion, look at that. Add them, and then mix again, mix. I'm gonna add more uh, salt, sea salt. You can buy this in dollar store for only a dollar. It's advertisement. <laughs> We're here for our, uh, for, for saving. <laughs> Okay, now it looks nice, right? There you go. So, while we're preparing this, we have to check our boiled water. It's not boiling yet. It's not yet boiled. Okay. I turned it up. And all our leftovers will go in here that will go to the compost. We're almost done. We made Three recipes, no, actually four. Four recipes of Aaron's venison. The watch pot never boils. You just huh? see it's not boiling yet. It's been a long time because we've been watching it and it hasn't started boiling. So it's true, a watch pot never boils. <laughs> There's the fried rice. Yes. I'm you getting. Have, uh, Getting a little bit bored, the cameraman. Okay, this is gonna get bored, so I think I'm gonna go outside and look at a toy that's come out yeah, here. Outside. Go look at my nephew side by side. This is what he drives around the country on the back roads. He's got a CF Moto. Side by side. It seats two people. He does a lot of off-roading with it, as you can see. I'm sure he has all kinds of fun with it. And on some of the roads, you can drive these in certain counties. You have to have them registered. I guess we'll go back to the food now. I'm getting a little bit hungry. Now Courtney started the... Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> and mix them again just to bring out all the natural oil of venison meat. Now, right now, meanwhile, Courtney is uh, preparing for the sauerkraut. Oh my goodness, that's going to take a lot of This jars. is the day. I was say, I hope you got enough. <laughs> <laughs> you, will have you know what, after I found out that uh, ferment fermented food are good for your health, though I don't really like it, Eric eating it a lot, but because I realize how good those food for your gut. <laughs> so it's okay. You can have sauerkraut every day. Look. Rohani, you focus on this one. It's boiling water now. We're yeah. going to put... It's almost boiling <coughs> because I went outside to look at the side by side. I stopped watching the pot. All right, so cabbage will be here for five minutes. 
okay? Cover that one. 435 at 440, that will be done. And this is very interesting, very easy. Okay? This will be the pan I am going to use. <laughs> going on there. Eric, you may have to go back to Menards. <laughs> I think that will be enough. If there's leftover, then we can put them. I'm going to use coleslaw. She needs some for for coleslaw. her egg rolls and stuff. Coleslaw. And she can do freezer slaw. You yeah, don't need jars for that. Freezer slaw, yeah. 435. Use a lot of Do we have everything for freezer slaw? Yeah. Wow. That's good to know. So that's how you make uh, sauerkraut. Uh -huh. Yeah. First like, you get a big laundry salt. basket. That's not a laundry basket. You... Honey. That's, that's for my cut vegetable basket. Oh, okay. It looks <laughs> similar to a laundry basket, but it's a vegetable basket. That's my vegetable basket. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. That's for my compost. This is another vegetable basket. 